So I have this story, right? Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay, so I have this story. I have this story and, and I'm gonna tell the story because this is my this is my story, all right? So Eric Benet is sitting at Moe's Cantina in South Beach. I'm performing at the same place that night. So he's sitting there, he's eating and everything and he's just like chilling. And I go up to him and he's like, I love you, get rid of the band. I'm like, okay. So I got rid of the band. Hey, I'm still here. <laughs> But Eric Benet was so cool. It was just such a, a wonderful experience that I'll never forget. And it was only, hey, I love you, get rid of the van. And that was all he said to me. But it meant a lot because at least he like said something, you know. But he's saying something more today. I want to welcome Eric Benet to the show. Welcome to the show, brother. How you doing? What's going on? How you doing? <laughs> you got rid of that van, huh? I did. I got rid of the van. Thank you so much because they were bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta I, I no disrespect to them, but I I gotta call it like I see it, you know. Yeah, and you know what? I took that to heart and we did get rid of the band. I got a new band and they were great, and then I got another new band and then another new band and another new band. Yeah, it is. That's how it works sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. So I want to talk about you, man. I'm telling you, you got a new song out with Tamar Braxton and it is hitting the waves. Uh man, tell me how did this come about? Well, I started a um, a duets project. It's been about a year and a little bit of change when I started writing and coming up with songs. And sometimes when you do projects like this, you don't exactly know who's going to be singing this vocal with you, but you just, you write songs in the vein of something and you're thinking, okay, we'll, we'll lock in whoever the vocalist is going to be later. And, um, you know, we I, I wrote a bunch of songs, and then my partner, Allison Ball, she said, why don't we go down to Atlanta and uh, work with, um, and see if Tricky Stewart got some hits for you. That's like saying, let, let, let's go to the Antarctic, let, let's go to the to North Pole and see if they got snow. Because, you know, <laughs> Trick, Trick, Tricky Stewart has written hits for Beyonce, uh, uh, Tyler, uh, Money Long, uh, you know, um, Mariah Carey, fill in the blank. Tricky has written some of the most iconic songs ever. So we went down to Atlanta and we worked with Tricky. He gave me some stuff and not only Tricky, but his brother Lainey Stewart has written amazing hits for a lot of people too. And um, the song, Something We Can Make Love To is something that uh, Lainey Stewart actually uh, produced, uh, wrote with Felly The Voice, and I, and I, people think I wrote the song because it's my first single, but no, I, this one I did not write. Mm. I just, as soon as, as soon as I heard it, I was like, this thing right here, I, I, I need to be on this. And it was Tricky who actually reached out to Tamar and said, Tamar, look, Eric Benet got the song. You think you want to jump on this? And Tricky told us, he said, look, I called her in the morning. She lives in Atlanta too. She said by that afternoon, she was in the studio recording her vocal. She loved it that much. But um, yeah, I wasn't there when she actually recorded it. But um, yeah, but I, I, just, I love Tamar. I love working with her. We met um, while we were touring with Snoop Dogg. Snoop did a kind of a, a musical, uh, musical play based on his life. And we met like, that was like five, five, six years ago, maybe a little more. And um, we, she's just an incredible, incredible person, a lot of fun and just a beautiful spirit. And I'm so glad that she is on my first single. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. I mean, I, I just, I, I see all the things that you're doing. It's just, you know, it takes a lot. And a lot of people don't realize it does. It's, it's, it's a full, it's more than a full-time job. It, Right. I'm gonna just go there. It's like, how many hours in a day? Twenty eight. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you're a performer, uh, and a good performer. So you know better than most. It's like it takes so much, and especially these days, I feel like I have to be everything. And yeah. you know, I have I have to be the executive. I have to A and R my project. I gotta like, I gotta write the songs, and if I if I don't have the right song, I got to go to where the songs are. I got to reach out to the artists and be like, yo, you want to get down on this joint with me? And and then you and then that's just that's the fun part. Then you got to hit the road and then and then promo and then 
make sure you got the the, the funding to, to to market it the right way. It's like, oh my gosh, don't no, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, please stop! Just stop. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I know. I but you, but you know, it's you know, it's the truth. You know, I it's know. the truth. I know. And yeah. then you know, it's it, you. Just tell me about it. Just tell me about it. But yeah. you know. It's it's just it's one of those things that you can't like not do though because you, right. you become so in love with just the results and and the song itself and just the finished product that everything that leads up to it is just like okay it has to be right it has to be yeah right. and and yeah. my gosh my gosh and I think and, go, ahead. go ahead no 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 go ahead go ahead. you think what. I, I, I was just going to tag on to what you said and part of part of that recipe that makes you um be be able to sustain yourself over the years uh there's there's perfect one of the ingredients in that is just resilience uh perfectionist and just consistency mm -hmm. and, par and 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 part and part of those three three ingredients it's just like it you really just love the crab so much and it's so important for you to like you said it just has to be right it's yeah. like it, it can't come out until it it feels right in my soul that's and it's it. like that's the perfectionist thing so mm -hmm. it's it's Tell just part it. of it it is it I, that's the part where it's you know it's like yeah 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 you need to chill <laughs> i can't right. i can't chill it's right. got to be right it's got to be right and, and and talking about right you have a new uh creative group jbr tell me about that how did that come about well thank you for asking about that yeah so i'm releasing this project uh on my own uh label jbr creative group and it is uh you know, our mission is to sign artists and not treat them like artists, but treat them like business partners. And, um, you know, because I come from, yeah, I come from the, 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 the world of where I'm just one of many artists on a record label, like begging for attention and being thankful for crumbs. And, you know, where most of the control is coming from the record label and mm -hmm. the record label is going to like, yeah, we going to own your masters and we, you know, Hey, so the whole mission, um, or philosophy of JBR is to empower artists, um, try to give them some financial literacy, try to make sure that they, you know, look, if you get a hit, forget that when you get a hit, <laughs> you got to realize you got to realize that you need to capitalize on that and be extremely frugal and not lose your mind on your first or your second or your third little check of money that you get and invest it the right way because you know we all hear too often the stories of artists who is like well they didn't pay their taxes or the record yeah. label ripped them off and mm -hmm. so um that's the mission of jbr we we just really want to like like be partners with with artists and 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 help them ascend uh financially and make sure they have some stability in their life that's wonderful i love that i love that i, I absolutely i think that that's going to be very successful a lot of people don't realize that there's it's just a lot to go into it and my whole my whole thing is if you if you have that big chunk of money invest it live off the interest you were doing fine before you don't need that money right now you need to put that money away and figure out mm -hmm. what you're going to do with that later but just keep the momentum going and i absolutely love that guy i mean guys can you imagine like okay my whole life just kind of went full circle here i'm back here with eric benet and i'm just so so very excited thank you so much for being on the show i truly appreciate it it's been such a, a warming thing and i did take your advice and it worked out very well thank you so much thank you i'm so glad thank you for taking the time to talk to me i appreciate it anytime anytime and so now it's your turn you have to introduce your song with tamar so go ahead i'm gonna get out of here go 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 <laughs> what's, what's going on this is eric benet and i want you to listen to my new song something we can make love to with tamar braxton
Yeah!